Start a chef. Okay, so we have a hot pan here. Thank We're gonna you. put some extra virgin olive oil. This looks like my restaurant. So packed <laughs> in. Yeah, it smells like it too. It's great. You're like going to want, really want to pay attention to this because this is so delicious. You're going to want to know how to so make it. Just this. a little bit of olive oil. Do you get nervous when you're making the president's food? Like, do they watch you? <laughs> no. They? Yeah. Well, yeah, oh, yeah, they do watch you actually. Yes, yeah. I had a person watch and make uh -huh. sure that everything was going out properly. Uh huh. And also the bus boys. And the um, waiters were being watched with utensils, <laughs> stuff like this. You never know. Oh, utensils, right? You're yeah. right. We're gonna add a little bit more olive oil because it's a little dry. Now, chef, may I ask you? I, I noticed mm, that uh, these clams here. What do you look for when you're making linguine con vongole? What do you look for in a clam? Because the big ones don't seem to work so well. So, right. So, you, so explain to us what these. Yes, are. I, well, I love small clams just because they have more flavor. And these are New Zealand cockles, which you know come from New Zealand, and you really taste the sea, mm -hmm. you know, the saltiness mm -hmm. and the flavors of the sea. So I look for something that's closed, of course, because you don't want to use anything that's open, and just fresh. You want to make sure that you buy fresh clams. All right, so we have our olive oil. Thank you so much. Incredible. Is it incredible? Yeah, I can't it's wait awesome. to yeah, so good. So we got olive oil, um, chili pepper, and then we're going to add just one clove of garlic, but just smashed. We don't want to eat it, the garlic. We just want to give it some flavor to the sauce. Right. Mm. Okay. So. And then now we're going to add fresh clams, which we've boiled and then taken out of the shell. How long do you boil them for? Because if you cook clams too long, they taste like erasers. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, they get really hard. So you know, all last we want to do is I had an eraser. I'm this telling. morning. <laughs> <laughs> all oh. we want to do is just let them open. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then we add a white wine. There you go. Right. Yeah. And we just let this reduce just a little bit. It's a really fast sauce. The uh, I will tell you how good your place is. Um, yes. I'd gone there with somebody, and we had the. We had an, a little entree thing for the appetizer. Yes. And the same thing for dessert. It was so really? good. And then we had, you know, oh, a meal. You. we over ate. Yeah. It was crazy. It was so I good. I did the same thing oh, my with, gosh. yeah, it looks like, well, before I tell my story, it looks like it was ketchup uh, in there, but it's not. It's, it's a tomato puree by Pomi, right? P -O -M -I. Exactly. Pomi. Right. It's, it's a fast substitute. Right. If you don't have the time to, you know, cook the tomatoes and reduce them and blend them, it's just a yeah, good, a wonderful fast. Brand. Um, wonderful brand. But I want to say, I went there and I ordered their lasagna. It, I have to say, it is one yeah. of the best lasagnas I've ever had. It's very thin. It was green, made with spinach, uh, rather creamy with bechamel sauce, I believe you used it. Yeah, bechamel. It was so unbelievably yeah. flavorful and light that I ordered it for my entree and for my dessert. Yeah. Everybody else had whatever, ice cream, whatever, but I had that for dessert. It was so good. Oh, look at that. We have yeah. music. And there are butterflies out there. Wow. Please, please continue. Please continue. <laughs> <laughs> I think I missed how you make the sauce though. Is it made with tomatoes or did was it yes, a sauce the only, you already had? We used just a little bit of tomato just to give it a little bit of color and to add some acidity so it balances out the sauce. Because it's very smooth and there's not yeah. a lot there, but it tastes yeah. like the flavor is incredible. Right? It's, it's, yeah. You have to use the proper clams. Mm. Now I noticed that you have some butter here. Do you do yes. that to add the creaminess to the pasta? The butter, funny enough, just adds a little bit of shine to the pasta. Ah. And I, it does give it a little bit of flavor, but you don't want to overdo it. You don't want to make it too buttery. So now we have so our linguine. Yes, linguine. Yes. Mm. So we're going to add our pasta here. And it's all done. And I have to be honest, I what? forgot to put the clams in the hot water while we started. Okay. So we're a little behind. <laughs> That's all right. But it's okay. We, we still have the sauce. Yeah. yeah good. We still make That's it. That's right. You're good. friends with Mark Wahlberg. We'll forgive you. <laughs> yeah, it's we will. Yes. Oh, you let me slide. <laughs> yeah, we'll let you slide so. on that one. Thank you so much. <laughs> so, what does Mark Wahlberg order when he comes in? You know, he has a great palate, actually, and he loves to eat. And he um, loves the polenta with porcini mushroom oh. that I make. Yes, yes, yes. yes. And I heard then, he's a really good tipper. He is. <laughs> he is. I did. I heard that. Yeah. Right? Yeah, he is. He's, and he's so just kind to everybody. He's mm -hmm. really a really nice person. Who's the worst celebrity? Oh, do I have to say? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. No, I'm only teasing. I tipped no, really well when I was there. I did. I tipped really well. Did you? Okay, then. 
So I noticed you added a little pasta water in it. Yeah. Why did you do that? And the reason why I do that is because you can let it sit here for a while if you have to, if you're not ready to serve it yet. But the most important thing is keep it moist. A little pasta water just does that. And I already had added the butter, oh, but we can oh, always add a little, a little bit more. A little butter. Yeah, a little bit more <laughs> butter. If I like, we can always yeah. add a little bit is more. Is it? I know. I know. I can't wait How long think. exactly do you leave the pasta in the water for, from your opinion? About, it depends on what pasta it is. But I like it al dente, about eight minutes. Eight? Yes. Eight. But also depends on the, the on style that. of the pasta and the thickness of it. Yeah. Right. Or if it's homemade pasta, too. Yeah. Or if it's a big difference, right? Can no, I taste it now? Yes. Mm. Yes, I'm going to serve it for you. Oh. Less than that. What a treat. Okay. okay. I mean, like I didn't have lunch or something. I'm just like, <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. I didn't have lunch today. Mm. And I like to put oh. a lot of clams just because it should be a balanced dish. Mm hmm. Okay, I'm going to put a little so red yummy. pepper flakes so on there for myself. It's very good. Okay, we'll, very we'll good. We'll share this what recipe on our website.